game changer. Oh my God, I'm shook. Hey guys, what is up? And welcome to another video. My name is Lana for those that are new and I make a gig content, specifically Spark. Um, so if you guys want to see what I do in my Spark videos, make sure you keep on watching and subscribe. So you guys, today I'm doing something a little bit different. I never am really out super, super early, mainly because my kids and I have to get them up for school. But since it's summer and we on summer break, I can wake up early and get to the money. So it is 7.53. Um, I got my first order at 7.20 and it is one order, 42 items going four miles. Um, so I am at the store now. It is not ready yet, so I don't know if it's because it's super, super early. And it's like the first order of the day that it's not ready. But I'm going to wait a little bit. We're going to see how long it takes. But the goal is to see, I don't think it's coming up right now. But the goal is to see how much we can make starting early. So I think I'm going to go for 200 today. So if you want to see how I can make $200, and then keep on watching. Yeah, I know it's too early in the morning because I'm sitting here. The parking spot. So I didn't even check in. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> so they come up to my car like, um, what are you here for? Did you check in? I'm like, yeah, I'll look. I'm like, oh, I did not check in. So I was waiting here for like 10 minutes for nothing. But um, yeah, so I got checked in. And um, he should be bringing the order out soon. It does say it's ready now. So <laughs> we're about to get this day started. I might need to go get me some coffee. All right, y'all, we just got done with that order. Um, the thing that sucked was that it had a whole bunch of steps. And y'all, I worked out yesterday. My legs are sore, okay? But we got it done, and we got a new order. $17, going 7.7 .7 miles, two drop-offs. Um, you know, honestly, I'm not gonna take this. I'ma just wait. It's kinda cool, so I am at the second store waiting um $23 either $23 or $24 um two orders 3.4 miles one is an apartment um but it shouldn't be too bad so we're gonna see if we can get it picked up and dropped off you guys all right got that second order dropped off y'all three waters okay and it's hot it's 90 degrees right now and it's only 909 so yeah we're gonna try to keep it moving wheels turning um, so we are sitting at about 51 or 52 dollars, which is amazing So I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the Walmart and see what we got There are a couple orders still popping up, but they're not like super super good So we're gonna skip on those and I will let you guys know what So I'm stepping at the gas station really quick, y'all. Um, so if you don't know, I drive a minivan. I have a Chrysler Town and Country, and it's not the best on gas. So how I kind of justify working and spending money on gas, and um, you know, making the money. So basically, I can put about sixty dollars in my tank, and that should last me to around like four or five hundred dollars. So that's basically my goal. Um, since I do part time every week, is I try to get around four to five hundred dollars, so I can justify it. Because I'm like, okay, well, if I do that, then that's not so much money. Now, sometimes it is a little bit more, but today I was able to get gas for four ninety four. Okay, and who would have thought four ninety four was like a steal? But uh, yeah, I've seen gas prices about five twenty five in my area, so four ninety four, I will take that. 
So I am just gonna go ahead and put in like about 60 right now and that should get me through to my work week. Um, like I said, normally I work like three or four days. So yeah, let me do that, let me stop it. That is done. Um, but like I said, yeah, $60 normally lets me do everything that I have to do work-wise um, and make about $450 to $500, which is pretty much my goal because I only work Monday evening, Wednesday, and Thursday. So I'm able to do that in three days, which is pretty good. So yeah, I got my next order. One order going, I think, 3.6 miles for $17. And so we're about to go ahead now that we got some gas and pick her up. All right, you guys, it is 10.26 and I'm waiting for an order to come in. I didn't get, well, I got one offer coming in. Oop, hold on, got another one coming in. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna take this one. Um, I got one for $10.79 going eight miles. We're not taking that, okay? So we might as well go ahead and climb that. But y'all, my app has been so super super oh and it's an apartment you yeah, know my app has been super super glitchy today like i'm waiting for orders to come in and i get that spinning that spinning little like wheel thing do y'all have that um i don't know why i don't know if it's I tried using my turning my wi-fi off um but i don't know i'm just having like connectivity issues today i guess um let me know if y'all ever have that it's annoying because I was trying to accept the order earlier and I was hitting the accept, but the wheel was just spinning, spinning, and then the time ran out. So hopefully this doesn't happen all day. But yeah, so we just got another one. $9.51 going seven miles. No, we're not taking that either. So yeah, we just gonna wait until we get an offer. I will let you guys know the next offer we get, but currently we are sitting, let me see how much. We are sitting at $68 and some change, which isn't too bad for three hours. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get this ball rolling. So hopefully we get a good, good order next. All right, so it's 11 o'clock. We have to wait a little bit to get our next order, but we got one at the Walmart that I'm currently at for $20.37 going 7.8 miles two orders um neither are apartments and it's small items oh one is large let me see because what I always do is I always look at the order items to make sure it's nothing like crazy okay so they got two waters and other than that everything else is pretty small so what I'll do is I look up the address to just make sure like it's not an apartment but I can clearly see that it's not so I, I went ahead and accepted it and it's ready so we're gonna go ahead drive around and pick it up y'all sweating and it's hot but it's all good so we are currently sitting 
at $88 and some change. Just dropped off that order. And actually, what is that? Actually, I got a cash tip, $6. So that made it $26 for that order. Um, so yeah, I'm about to head back to the Walmart and wait for the next order. All right, so at the end of that order, we are four hours in and our total is $94 with that $6 cash tip which is pretty cool. Um, sometimes I like to be a little bit higher, but it seems like today the orders just are kinda low. Either people are not tipping or they're high, high, high miles and I don't wanna do it. So, um, but pretty good for what we got so far. Um, and one thing I did wanna mention is with the gas, how I am able to kinda capitalize on my gas is I don't take any and every order. It has to make sense financially. So. I try to stick with around $2 a mile. So if I know that it's a trip for seven miles, I won't accept it if it's anything less than $14. Um, but I try to keep my orders at least 18 to 20 on. But um, if it's like today and it's kind of a slow day, I'll take it if it's like seven miles, $14. So $2 a mile pretty much. So that is what I do. I just kind of try to calculate things, take orders that only make sense. I'm not taking any high, high, high miles, low pay, um, things like that. So I will let you guys know when our next order comes in. All right, it is 103 and we haven't done an order since the last order we did was like 1149 or whatever. So, um, I'm kind of just waiting, y'all. Um, like I said, the orders have been trash. Um, I screenshot at one. This is another. They have 12 orders for $35, $35, which I don't do those. And then they have a 7.5 mile for $11. Not going to do that. So, that's why I say, like, if you are kind of picky, sometimes on some days, the orders can be there, they cannot be there. Today seems to be a day where they're not there. And it's always like when I want to record a video <laughs> that it's always like slow or something happens. But I mean, honestly, that's real life. Like every day is not always popping in all markets. Some markets are great and it's popping every day. But some slower days than others, like the weekends are really, really good, but I can't work as much on the weekends, so I kind of got to get out and do what I can on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So, yeah, um, I will let y'all know once I get another order. I did stop at home and filled up my water because it is 90 degrees out here and it's hot and then got me a little snack, so... So, yeah, yeah, I'll let y'all know what I get. Uh, so, I just got another order, $24.18, going seven miles, two orders, and pretty low items. So, um, I saw this, I was watching, I forget whose video it was, but I was watching somebody's video, and they said that you can check in before the check-in time. And I was like, wait, what? How you do that? So, they were saying just put it on airplane mode and then take it off airplane mode. So, I had tried it earlier and it worked so i'm about to do it again just to make sure it wasn't like a fluke or nothing so i got my order up and i'm about to turn my phone on airplane mode okay and click start trip okay start trip so it says that confirm arrival and i confirm and then i just put what parking spot i'm in y'all are you serious are you serious? I had no idea that you can check in early. Like that saves, that's gonna save me so much time, y'all, because literally I'll accept an order. I'll already be at the store. It'll be like 120. The order says that it's ready, but I have to wait till like 145 to check in to pick it up. But if I could do it this way, y'all, game changer. Oh my God, I'm shook. <laughs> Those two orders are done. The first one was a sign-in order, so I didn't 
record that but yeah um the second one they was like bring to the back door so i'm like looking around but you got to be aware of your surroundings especially women anybody but especially women you got to be aware of our surroundings okay all right so we're done with that i'm gonna turn my app back on because it turned off and we're gonna see if we can maybe get one one or two more um, and then call it a day i think let me check to see where we're at so far so we are at 118 so far for the day um like i said not the greatest because the orders wasn't popping but we're gonna see about doing like one or two more orders and then we're just gonna call it a day um normally my goal is 100 bucks so anytime i get 100 bucks i'm set for the day good um and yeah so i'll let you guys know what the next order is all right, so that last order was a shop and deliver order. It was, what, four, five, six, it was six items. So went ahead and picked up everything. And now the customer is about nine miles away. So, yeah, so we're about to go here. It is an apartment, but like I said, it's only two bags, so I don't mind. All right, all right, you guys, we are on, and we are on our last order of the day, okay? It is. 323 just got a ooh, what was it it was 23 dollars going eight miles two pickups pretty small orders so we're gonna go ahead and get that picked up i am at the walmart y'all this little hack you can't tell me nothing now so i was able to check in and i'm just waiting for the order it says it's ready so hopefully they get it out pretty quick and i can be done for the day i will be ending with 69 dollars and some change so i'm super excited about that in the meantime i got me some lunch because I have not eaten all day besides them grapes. So I'm about to eat, wait for this order, and then I will come back at you guys with our final uh, numbers for the day. Okay, y'all, we are done for the day. So let's run it down. We worked from 7.45 in the morning. It is now, well, by the time I got done with my last order, it was four o'clock. So um, then we took about a two hour break in between. So let's see. So minus the break, we worked for about six hours today, which is pretty good. We made $169 and some change. I'll put the exact amount on the screen. And that makes our hourly total $28.33, which is great. Um, I'm gonna go into my Stride app to see exactly how many miles I went. So we did about 100 miles, which is a tax deduction of about 50-ish um, dollars. So not too bad. So yeah, y'all, I hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, y'all. I learned something new today. Now, did y'all know about the little hack, how to check in early? And if y'all did, why didn't y'all tell me earlier? Like, why am I just not finding out about this? Yeah, so if y'all have any other little hacks and tips with uh, doing orders, let me know, okay? Because I want to know, because I'm learning, all right? So yeah, y'all, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it and comment below. I wanna know how much you guys made this week and I will check you guys in next week's video. Bye.